Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Let's begin Chapter 4. So this is the Phantom Town we heard about, huh? It's like something from a horror novel. I find the place unsettling too, but we mustn't let that keep us from our investigation. Who knows what kind of valuable information we might find here about the Elysian Box. So now we get to take a walk around the town. But before we do, as always, the only two things we actually uncovered during number three, during chapter three, you back here? The Sound of Midnight, where we heard, you know, clamor and all that in the night, and it turned out we switched tracks, and, you know, we thought we were going to Luxembourg, but ended up in the town of Folsons. And of course, the new things for the hamster are the... are these, and we are just about ready to completely finish out the hamster. So let's do this. Actually, let's go ahead and show you what happens when you make the hamster, you know, level up a bit. Right now he's level 5, Lump. If we manage to make him walk 8 steps, he will level up to number 4. So let's do that real quick, shall we? And we can make move that way. See, he will walk to it. This will block his view. That, he will walk it. He will walk towards it. Um, but the apple will always take precedence over it. The stump. Once again, he'll walk towards it. He'll walk towards the flowers. And the light bulb, whenever he ran, runs into it, he goes screaming in the other direction, basically. I think I'll go ahead and show that off here. One, two, three. And this will get him... No, I don't want to use that yet. I want to save that for later. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. Let's have him exercise now, and we can get him to the next. Oh, we can get him to I'm the next tired. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit whining. They give you more than enough little things to easily make this work. So. So, see, easily, he went to level four. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next goal would be 14. And it's actually fairly easy to get him to the next level. 10, level 12. Let's go ahead and get him to level 3 before we continue. But to get him to level 1, I believe, or at least if I'm recalling correctly, it takes about, oh, 30 steps. Which involves some kind of interesting placement of various things. And see, he keeps going like that. It sends him screaming running, basically. And now he's done. I'm starting to look pretty good, huh? He went from lump to slug, and from slug to sloth. And now it wants him to go 18 steps. Well, we just did that, so we can do it again. Got any snacks around here? Don't hold out on me. Okay. And believe it or not, there is a way to make it... Yep. Make him hit his head. 
I guess. But now he's at level two. Suddenly I've got energy to spare. And now he needs to go 24 steps. We need him to go five more steps than he has before. And it may actually be possible. Can't remember if it is or not. But it will definitely be possible soon, just not yet. Leave that the way it is for now. We close that. And let's do our typical, you know, exploration here. It's around here somewhere. There's one. Uh, there's two. There's three. And this guy followed us. So let's talk to him. Oh, funny running into you here. Hello, howdy, hi, and all that. Hey, you're the mailman. Yep, I've got mail to deliver here, but it's so dark that it always takes forever. No wonder the people always seem so on edge here. Well, that's all the more reason I need to bring a little sunshine into everyone's life with the mail. Wow, you deliver letters all the way out here? I sure do, and I've got a schedule to keep while doing it. So on that note, I'll be off. See you around. It would seem our friend the postman works a very, very wide area for mail delivery. Really? But how does he to do how does he do two routes every single day? Unless he has some kind of jetpack, that's just impossible. You may think so, Luke, but our world is full of inexplicable phenomena. This is all but one of many. I guess so, but it still seems pretty much impossible to me. And you know, I kind of agree with Luke there that him doing two routes, you know, situated so far apart, unless this train runs every day and he can just catch it both ways, he ain't getting there. Oh well, let's continue, shall we? Oof! Are you alright there, Flora? You don't look well. I'm not sure, I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. You're as pale as a sheet. We'll find a place for you to rest straight away. Hmm, I don't see any hotels around. If there were, you'd think there'd be a sign or something. Well, despite the lack of advertising, I say one of those buildings over there is a hotel. So now we need to look for one. But before we look for one, we've got a new screen, so new screen means new hint coins. And let's see. There's one. And yep, there's two. And mm -hmm. there's up here. There it is. And then let's see, I believe. Click here. Yep. For puzzle number 61. Where's the hotel? Worth 30 points. In front of the town train station are four buildings standing in a row. One of these four is supposedly the local hotel, though it lacks a sign. Even though, if you study the area carefully, you should be able to tell which of the buildings is the hotel. Can you figure out which of these four buildings is the hotel? Well, it may or may not be completely obvious if you look, but take a very good look at the windows of all four buildings. Specifically, right here there's an H, and an O, and a T, and an E, and an L. Hmm, let's see if this works. Layton's apprentice strikes again! There we go. And now we get a new ingredient for tea. Although, yeah, we can't make anything with it yet. We need other ingredients, too. How are you doing, Flora? Any better? A little bit. I think with just a little rest, I'll be back to my old self. Flora, Luke and I are going back out to learn more about the town. Why don't you stay here for a while and rest up? Yes, take it easy for a while, Flora. We'll be back before long. 
<clears throat> Thanks, Luke. Be careful out there. You too, Professor. Do you think Flora's going to be alright? I wouldn't fret too much, Luke. She may just be exhausted from our long journey. I think our best course of action now is to gather what information we can and hurry back to the hotel. After all, a gentleman never keeps a lady waiting. And now, once again... Well, once it gets us back into our exploration screen, we're back to just Luke and Leighton wandering around. Well, let's see here. Yeah, there's a coin here. And I believe over here. Yep. And kind of, and strangely, we mirror it. Yep, there we go. And now we can walk back to the room before we continue, because there are hint coins in there, as well as a puzzle. Where is it? Oh, that's what I get for doing that. That's the lamp, okay. And that, yep. And then this little salt tray, yep. And then this flower right here is a puzzle. Ah, roses are like living gems. And they smell so nice. While we're on the subject of flowers, Luke, why don't you give this puzzle a shot? Number 62. Smell the roses again. Worth 40 points. Nothing smells quite as sweet as fresh cut roses. Can you help freshen up the whole room with the fragrance? Tap a square with your stylus to place a rose. The fragrance of each rose reaches two spaces in all directions but can't penetrate walls. If the fragrance of two or more roses overlaps, the resulting smell will be overpowering, so make sure to keep your roses spaced out. To remove an existing rose, just tap it again. So, let's see. Excuse me, folks. Little yawn popped up there. Okay, let's begin with the obvious spots here, huh? No. Did that work? Well, that might have worked, but no. Did not work. How about there? Hmm, no, that's... maybe? Nope, not going to work there either. Okay. Yep, can't do that. Can do that, but nope, can't. Nope, that didn't work. Here. Okay, now we're talking. Kind of. Well, there has to be a rose right here. Somewhere in there. Okay, that's not bad. Huh. Up there, move that. Stick you here. Nope, that isn't gonna work either, is it? That'll work though. Okay, we're getting here. We're getting there. back and get the same now. Move that. There we go. Here goes. Leighton's apprentice strikes again. Indeed. Took a little bit, but I got that one. There we are. That takes care of that puzzle. Nothing creates a feeling of tranquility in a room. Quite like a fresh bouquet. I'll say, those flowers in the Molentary Express's deluxe room sure made me feel relaxed. 
Ah, yes, the ones that the conductor placed in the rooms were nice. Hmm. Of course, it's so obvious. I can't imagine why I didn't think of it until now. What do you mean, Professor? Luke, think back on when that car, train car switched tracks. Do you remember anything? Well, honestly, I don't remember much. Everything's kind of foggy since I dozed off during all that. Of course you did. The sudden sleepiness we experienced was no coincidence. Furthermore, I don't believe it was mere chance that we awoke upon our arrival in full sense. No, I'd say our little nap was part of a larger plan. What plan would that be? Were I to venture a guess, were I to venture a guess, I'd say those roses Sammy planted around the train knocked us out. Then, while everyone was asleep, they switched tracks. Precisely, my boy. And at that point, one car split off. I'd wager that only those riding in the deluxe rail car were taken away to Folsom's. Not a bad guess, actually. But now it's time to cut the video. When we return, we will explore the town a little bit. So, until then, take care, folks. See you later.